Hey, this is Janetta, and hey, I'm still in Tanzania. It's rocking. Today is the last day for my cousin Juanetta to be here. And uh, hey, you know, one month that goes by just like that. But today, we have some things hot off the press. I want to open your ears and listen. Just listen. Uh, I know you like to hear what's going on in Tanzania. You want to see the animals and you want to hear about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. All those things are very nice. They're very beautiful. But what is ruling the world and running the world is politics. And now don't tell me, uh -uh, I don't deal in politics. Oh, yes, you do. You deal in politics more than you think you do. Uh, let me tell you. A lot of you that are Americans, you feel like what's going on in Africa is really, I don't need to know what's going on in Africa, but you need to know because believe it or not, for the black man, Africa is the core, period. It is the navel. It is the source of life for the black man in the world. And not only the black man, for the people of the world. Because we're the beginning, and baby, we're going to be the end. But listen to this. Because this is going to happen, and you're going to see it in series. If you'd like to follow along, you just let me know. Because information that will be released through us on this channel, and it will be verifiable of what's going on in Nigeria. Nigeria is really one of the largest populated countries in Africa. And it's of very much importance. And you know, most of the people that come to the United States with their education, knowledge, understanding, and skills come from Nigeria. Not only those that come with the education, standards, and skills, a lot of those who have things that are not according to legal rights and what they should do, they also come from Nigeria, in the majority of them. Not to say they don't come from any other African countries. So uh, right now, today, I'm sitting with two, a Nigerian and a Tanzanian. And we're talking about the president of Nigeria and what the information that has been leaked out about him and been told about him. And we're wondering, how did he become president? But we'll bring that to you in series about who is Tinubu, President Tinubu of Nigeria. Who is he? Where did he come from? How did he raise up to be president? What is his political history? What is his status? What is his connection with the United States? What is his connection with the CIA, the FBI? What is his connection with ExxonMobil and some of the other companies that he worked for or had in the United States? How did he get earn uh, in 1986, $2,040 income to end up having about $5 billion right now. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Now, uh, on the news that you like to hear, I'm going to let you know. Today, Puff Daddy got a, a, a pillow that he can sleep on in jail. If you're interested in Puff Daddy, but you know what? Puff Daddy is not going to free us from what's happening in the world. But it is gossip information. But this information we're going to be talking about is information that you need to know so we can do something about it. And what can we do about it? Oh, believe me. Those of you that are prayer warriors, those of you that believe in the power of the word of God, those of you that are right, those of you that are educated, those of you who are not educated but hard workers that want things different for our lives and for your children. But if you don't care about anybody but you, then it's not important. But this is important to a lot of us because we're interested in our children and their future. So we're going to show you some things and you're going to listen to some things that's going to open your ears and spread the word. Share it with somebody. Comment on it. Like it. Don't like it. Do something. But make a move because this is information that you didn't have before. And we're bringing it to your attention and you can research it. Now I'm going to ask my grandson who is Nigerian. He's an Igbo Nigerian. 
what is his feelings about what's going on right now in his country and the struggle that they have and their, his president what is are his thoughts about it then i'm going to ask my friend that's from tanzania i'm going to ask kelvin his name is kelvin magia magia and uh my grandson i like to call him odinaka and chukku i can't even how to pronounce it <laughs> but he puts the thomas on the last of his name he'll introduce himself but they're going to quickly tell you and say something about the things that we hear we have heard and let you know that we're going to be bringing those things to you in the next few days and discussing them we like for you to discuss them with us so one of the day this week or next week we're going to have a live broadcast and we'll announce it to discuss this very problem because as nigeria goes that's how the black man goes we change nigeria if nigeria change that will change all of africa what do you think about that okay. grandson um first of all i would like to thank you for this um opportunity i mean to express myself <laughs> and my thoughts on this once more my name is Chiku thompson uh, my grandma here calls me Odinaka. now you asked my own point of view on what is happening in nigeria well i would say we have a president who is a drug dealer as our president and so far so good the country has been shattered whereby the poverty in nigeria has increased uh, more than the way it was in the past and uh, looking at it i can tell you um i don't see any solution coming anytime soon and from where, what i gathered tunubu is still going for eight times i mean it's going for a second term when i mean eight times i mean eight years in nigeria we have a system that runs for four years and four years for eternal you know but from the look of things he's still going for eight years and that's a very sad i mean eight years of poverty <laughs> eight years of slavery eight years of pain eight years of hardship it's not as if we don't have this money. Nigeria is so blessed with a lot of minerals and resources. God has blessed Nigeria with everything Nigeria needs to sustain and survive any kind of hardship. But yet we live under the influence of the West. I mean, using Tunubu as a puppet, it is, it is something that is very, very painful. And we all know that um, that the U.S. will not just pick you if they don't just have anything against you. Which, of course, they have record of Tunubu being a drug leader. I mean, a drug lord in the U.S. You know, Tunubu is one of those who doesn't have a background. He, he, in fact, he lives a, he lives a, a much of, uh, I mean, a more mystery life. It's just recently he became popular. Before he was in the shadow. When I mean he was the shadow, he was a godfather to a lot of presidents in the past. Collecting his own percentage before he decided to emerge as a president himself. And in emerging, he's a, emerged from uh, nothing to over four billion dollars and know what 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 does he manufacture, what kind of business does he have, what kind of business was he involved in, that he and how did he start his business? Where did he start it from? What has he created? That, that's that's the, the mystery behind it. That's why when the, when that news came up that he was a drug lord well there's no i mean you there's no other way to explain it well we we won't call him a drug but what we'll what we'll do is we'll bring it let the people look at the facts and yeah. then they can decide for themselves uh, what they think of these facts come from 
the CIA, uh, FBI, DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency. And these are some of the facts that are, are, are public for public information. There's some things that have been redacted where they can't find out. But these are some of the facts for public information. And once we give it to the people, then we can let them come up with the decision on what they think. That's right. Uh, what they think, you know, the power to control. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you think, um, uh, uh, okay. Calvin? Okay. Uh, I think, uh, first of all, I want to ask uh, Emmanuel, you say, th you say about uh, drug dealing, about uh, the claim about uh, Bona Tunubu. Uh, what the evidence exists to support these claims? Any evidence? Uh, well, the evidence are there. I mean, if you, get, if you get caught with your hands in the cookie jar, you get caught with the hands in the cookie jar, you know, you might not have seen me take the cookie out, mm -hmm. but I got my hand in the jar, right? Mm -hmm. For you, that's going to be enough evidence to believe that I've been taking cookies, okay? One of the facts that his association that he has is with two kingpins of uh, drug running from Nigeria that were in the United States, his association with them. And so, but we're going to bring those things up because the reports that we have gotten, we're going to share it with our audience so they can see what we're talking about. And these are things for public information. But we also know, you know, um, uh, Kevin, mm -hmm. when things are wrong, if you find you have something wrong and people want to use you, they can hold that wrong on your head and let just enough information out there as to where they stimulate the interests of other people, but yet they'll control you because he's the leader of our country. The way they ran down Trump around because of what he'd done Let's lay out what to Nubal. They have suspicions of him doing. They say allegations because there was a settlement that he made with the United States and they didn't pursue the investigation. So do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we, we won't tell the audience that he's guilty. We're going to let them find out, check for themselves. But these are leaders of ours. And that's one of the things is that if you, if you do something wrong, people that are, want to use you can use that wrong to make you do what they want you to do. So he's being used. And the, the, the Nigerian people are suffering because of it. I mean, if he did what he did, but he's what the president of the country, would you care? Mm -hmm. I mean, would you really? Would you care? No. no, I mean, but he's the ruler of a country. So that means he affects our lives. He affects the lives of people. So uh, it, it's just more than just the fact that uh, it's, it's more than just the fact that he is associated with what he's been associated with as doing something illegal and illicit. But the fact of it is, is that he's a ruler of a country. He's a decision maker. Yeah. The buck stops with him. That's what the, that's what the problem is. That means that when he puts your head in a noose, his head gets put in the noose, your head is in a noose. Because in Nigeria, you're subject to him. But Tanzania, you're not. But what happens vibrates in Nigeria, vibrates all over Africa. So let's just leave the audience like this. We're going to share a few of our little snippets with them. We're going to share with you, audience, some of the things that we know. And uh, so you can listen to them because they're very important. They actually pertain to us. You think they're not pertaining to you? 
You want to just see what's nice and good and happy. The roses are blooming. The flowers are blooming. All this is nice and cherries in the world. No. Let's dig down. Let's dig down and know the facts so we can know what to do. Because there's something that we can do. Now, this is my opinion. This is just my opinion. Not something I read, but this is something I believe. All of us that are waiting on the Savior to crack the sky, the Savior is waiting for us. He said that we do not fight against we do not fight against humans. We're not fighting against Tanubu. We're not fighting against uh, um, Trump, the new president coming into the United States. We're not fighting against these people that are in power. We're fighting against not flesh and blood, but spirits of wickedness in high places. And we need to act like we are fighting against those spirits of wickedness in high places. And I believe, now maybe you don't believe this, but I believe according to what the Bible says, according, I'm going to be like Gene on Jennings, the Bible said it, that well, the weapons of our warfare okay. are, not carnal. are not carnal, but they're strong, they're, they're, they're powerful for pulling down strongholds. And the reason why this enemy can run around like he's running around is because we're not pulling down those strongholds. We're pulling down ministers. We're running after people because we say they're gay and all this kind of stuff. We're running around a lot of things. Women wearing short dresses, long dresses, cut hair, no hair, no bra, this, that, and being indecent. But we're not running around for the real enemy of our souls. We're looking at carnal things, and the word tells us to look at spiritual things. And we're going to look at some spiritual things because that wick, wick, wickness, wickedness exists, <laughs> and we can do something about it. Now, if you're a person that knows you can do something about it, hey, join me. But if you think you can't do anything about it, then you just wait for the Savior to come. Hey. If you want to change your life today, this is the way you change your life. You face it. You use that power that you had invested in you. <laughs> that was given to you. Okay. Until the next time, which will be in a couple days. Until the next time, hey, we're leaving you. But the subject is President Tanubu of Nigeria. Guilty and not guilty. Being used or not being used. An asset to the CIA or not an asset to the CIA is up to you. Okay, guys. Yes. Are you ready for it? Yes. This is warfare. Yes. Hey, okay. This is Janetta. Talk to you later. Yeah. Hey, this is Jamila, and you're watching Africa Speak of Food.